Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. If everyone would please stand, face the flag, and so incline. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I've seen the agenda. There's no additions or changes to it. I would look for a motion to approve as shown. I'll make a motion. Motion by Kurt. I'll second. Second by Kate. Any other discussion? All in favor of the approval of the agenda, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Uh, no scheduled presenters this evening under reports. Grant isn't here. Um, and this is not our, our committee report session, so we'll drop down the public input. Is there anyone here that wishes to speak to the district about any matters concerning the district? Okay, we'll move on. Consideration to approve the finance report. And Josh is in basketball tonight, so I will cover that if you've had a chance to look at it um, ahead of time. Um, you can go over any specific questions you have. Um, if you look up at the top, you'll see a merchant's bank, the bank balances. Um, when you see $9.8 million, I'm sure you're like, oh my goodness, what you know, what happened? It, that is that selling of those bonds that we had talked about, the ones that you have voted on. So obviously that's a little higher than right now. Um, that'll be your 2008A and your debt service payment um, is also involved in that one. And then if you go down to the very bottom uh, where it says the 2007A debt service and the 2008 debt service, uh, those also include the payoff. Um, and so that's why you'll see some different things at the bottom down there. But if you have any specifics, it's a really standard one this month. That's why we weren't worried about Josh being here. Um, there, there's nothing out of the ordinary on this one. Questions? I'll make a motion to approve. Motion by Jerry. Do I hear a second? A second motion. Second by Katie. Other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carry. Consent agenda. Items under the consent agenda are considered routine and will be enacted under one motion. In the event a board member wants to discuss any single item, it will be removed from the consent agenda for a separate action. Questions on the consent agenda? Um, before you go ahead and approve it, I would just really like to again uh, thank the Ed Foundation. Obviously, you can see from the list there all of the things. They've done the flipbook generator. They've done an innovative classroom in one of our special ed rooms. Um, they approved a fur trader for Missy Clapper in sixth grade, drinking fountains at the elementary, uh, vertical endeavors field trip, um, and last but not least, the orchestra hall field trip. Um, the Ed Foundation has just been such a huge support of our school. I think when they have all of these in one month, it's, it's worth recognizing. So thank you to them very much. You should invite them in again. I think you yeah, once think a year so just to mm -hmm. speak to what they do, who they are, right. and thank them. Sure. Anything else? I thought I'd look for a motion. I'll make a motion to Motion by Brenda. Second, anyone? I'll second. Kurt. Kurt, on the second. Further discussion? All in favor of approving the consent agenda, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Old business, ACT test results. Mr. Hodges. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm not bringing it up, right? No. I like it. That's cool. Where is it? What city is that? I don't know if it's a real city. Is that? It doesn't look real. Does that computer generate? It's cool. There we go. So, um, I was asked at our last meeting to talk a little bit about ACT results. 
And um, as I said, I've got ACT results going back into the early 90s, but I, what I pulled up here um, to take a look at is the ACT test results uh, since I have been here, um, so since the 2009-2010 school year. So uh, this first uh, graph is the number of students tested. And uh, as you can see, that number changes from year to year. And um, there, there appears to be more students tested <coughs> in the last three years than there have been previous. And the reason for that is because uh, we just in 2016-17 uh, did our third year of uh, ACT testing all of our juniors. So in the past, um, juniors and seniors have both taken the test. So those, those numbers um, in the previous years before 2014-15 included both juniors and seniors. Uh, this number from then on is, is just juniors. So we still have seniors that retest um, all the time. And some of the juniors that took the test uh, when we did it during the school day also had tested before that. So, so that number right around 70 I would say is kind of our what our average is. So our junior classes are bigger than obviously than 75 or, or so, but um, there are some students who don't take that test. So that's the, the reason that you don't see like an 85 or 88 in there. So uh, this next graph is our average composite score. So the composite score is the score that you think of when students take the ACT. It's like 24 or 28 and there is a possible score of 36 on this. And as you, as you look through the bars, um, you'll notice that in the last three years, again, uh, there has been a bit of a decline uh, in the average composite score, not only for the school, but also for the state. Um, we are simply testing more students than we ever have before. So that's a direct relationship there. And when we look at some of the, the sub-scores going forward from here, you can see distinctly where um, scores were before the 2014-15 school year and then after because there has been about about a full 1.0 drop um, in that com in that score um, across the board for everybody and that's just because everybody is testing more students now than we ever had before. So there are there are four subtests uh, that make up the ACT: the English, math, reading, and science. There is also um, a writing test that is not figured into the composite score for ACT, so I didn't put a writing test up there, and to be honest with you, um, I've only got writing scores um, for just a few years. I don't have those back as long as I do everything else. So again, um, these scores are out of 36, so each subtest is scored out of 36, and then that composite score is made up of, um, of I believe it's an average of those subscores. So, what can I say about the test scores? I, I don't think that you can say that we are statistically different, different really than the state average uh, as far as the ACT scores kind of go across the board. So the, the bars show a little bit of difference here and there, um, but when you factor in the number of students taking the test, um, there's really not a significant or a statistical difference in, in our score and the state score. Yeah. Just so I understand, I know you said that we are now testing <coughs> all juniors, so that, that's a change. That is a change. Seniors can test as well still. Yes. No. So when I say we're testing all juniors, um, in the past, everybody has the option of taking the right. ACT, but you had to pay for it. And in the 14-15 school year, um, the state started paying for all juniors to take the test. Okay. So we are still testing all juniors across the state of Minnesota. The funding for that has changed, and the state no longer pays for that for everybody, I think, as of this year. Um, it's one of those unfunded mandates that we continue yeah. to talk about. Yeah. So they require everyone to take this test or the ASVAP or something. Test costs about $45. Now they've removed the funding for it, but still are asking us to have everyone take the test. Um, okay. So we, along with many in the HVL, have decided to pay for it because if you were making a kid take a test and then making them pay for it on top of it, uh, you could really run into some problems. So. Okay. so the whole state is testing all juniors, so that has changed. And I'm just looking at the grounds level to make sure we're all apples to apples. Right. So we've changed who we're testing, but the state has also changed um, as well. Yes, yeah. so and that's why, okay. that's why again, you see in those last few years, 
the bars are lower. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the reason. That's when the state went to testing everyone and we went to testing everyone. So when we had, for example, when we had a year, if I back up here, um, uh, in 10 11, uh, it looks like it was a few over 75 students took the ACT test. That would be a combo of juniors and seniors. Right. Uh, and now, these last couple of years, that's juniors. So that doesn't include seniors in the next year. Okay, so we're not looking at senior scores at all anymore. No. This is, now we switch from all students to just juniors. Okay, okay. Correct. And we don't pay if they want to retake it or uh, up their score. Uh, the Campbell Schools yeah. doesn't pay for that. So, and that's like, because you can super score the ACT, mm -hmm. correct? So are these super scored or is it just a straight composite? Straight oh. composite. Okay. Is this what colleges are looking at too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the composite score, they're dropping. But are, are colleges also conforming to that too? In the well, it, you know, these are these are average. These okay. are not individual student scores. So, obviously, when we start testing every student, I think I think I'm right in saying that we have generally between sixty and eighty percent of our students in a in a given year go on to post secondary education. So that leaves between you know forty and twenty percent of our students who normally don't. Mm -hmm. Those kids are now included in the ACT, in these ACT averages, whereas before they weren't. Okay. So that, that explains the drop in mm -hmm. average scores and for the school and for the state. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just simply testing students that yeah. normally wouldn't have been tested in the past yeah. for whatever reason, whether they were not planning on uh, post-secondary education or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, what's the, what's the purpose behind an ACT? Everybody graduates, but there's such a difference in educational standards between schools. This allows a college to be able to. Well, I I don't know exactly what the intention of the state was when they started when they did this mandate. My guess is that um, ACT has been around for a long time. It's a nationally normed test. And because it's nationally normed, there are some really kind of neat things that we can do with that data. We get really good data about uh, college and career ready based off of uh, ACT scores. Um, and we get some really good scores, or, or really get some information based on subgroups, based on uh, the academic preparation of students who have taken the test. Um, my guess is that the state when there were some federal mandates that came in and started saying you need to do some college and career readiness testing, um, that happened at the state level also, and the state was <coughs> not prepared with anything that would give them that information. It's already built into ACT. So it was an easy, there it was are, an easy kind of yeah. thing for them to do to be able to gather that data um, and still provide something that's useful. That, you know, the way I look at ACT and MCA is this, is that uh, the ACT is a test that kids take seriously because a lot of the students that we have to take it, it's meaningful for them because they are planning on attending college. MCA is just a day in the life of the kid taking a test, and that test is has less meaning for them than anything else they do because there's not any graduation requirements tied to it anymore. It means nothing for grades. It means nothing for them other than it's couple of days in a class period taking the test. So There have been some complaints on the monopoly of all of this. Um, ACT also has some pre-tests, the plan and the explorer tests and things like that um, that have gotten extremely expensive. Uh, but again, give the principals really some valuable information. Um, but because there isn't other programs, uh, they do raise the costs because of the uniqueness of the program. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate in that way. It is a, a very good way to normal students, um, but the expense of it is, you know, really kind of getting up there. A lot of schools have tried assessing a fifteen dollar fee or anything, and you kind of if if your kid is one of the twenty percent that isn't going to college, and then you're forcing them to take tests and pay for it, uh, you're just going to run into problems. So yeah, this this year, um, students out there don't listen to this, but yeah. <laughs> um, the school has to offer. Um, a college, what's it called, Jennifer? It's a college interest exam, right, yeah. mm -hmm. basically. So we have to offer either the SAT or the ACT. And, um, or the ASVAP 
comes to, doesn't it? Not anymore. It doesn't, okay. No, they, they took the ASVAB and the Accuplacer off the list. Okay. So, um, Which is too bad. So anyway, the ACT is generally, I think it's more widely accepted in the Midwest than the SAT is. Um, so that kind of becomes our default. But again, we get some really good information from this, and it's probably, it, it, it's more useful, I think, to staff and to students, the information that we get back from ACT than, than the MCA. Because again, the MCA, it, it really doesn't do anything for students. It gives us a, an idea on that given day on how well-prepared students are based on state standards. This gives them, you know, if you're going to college, the college and career readiness marks that they give are, are pretty accurate. So. Do you test this during the school day? Yeah, so we have to offer it during the school day. Um, oh, so, Jennifer, I'm going to fall back to you because I can't remember. It's April 22nd. Does that sound right? It's yeah. okay. They don't use it. Yeah, it's April 20 something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll be offering it. So, um, and that's been fine. It there are some the ACT has some pretty um, stringent requirements for testing environment. So mm -hmm. when we do ACT testing, we have to shut the bells off. Okay. We have to find classrooms that are kind of away from the bustle of everything else. So we generally take the shop hallway and the art hallway and the classrooms. We have four spaces back there that we test kids in, and then we shut doors. So no bells, no students in so the gym. Some schools rent facilities, um, like yeah. rent a hall, mm -hmm. um, and bring the kids to the place. It's easier than shutting. It works here, yeah. but some of the other schools have had to kind of get creative. We also offer it on weekends if you pay as well. Correct. Correct. We are we um, test every one of the uh, optional, you know, those Saturday morning right. testing. Do we offer any um, like prep courses or anything? Jake, do we that offer anything cost? for community yet? We have. And it, it just isn't not as much. Not, not a lot of not a lot of interest in not it. Not enough interest. Yeah. You've had it all and we've got yeah. um, the counseling website has information. Mm -hmm. And we, we hold a session that, with, so. with students, and the test is April 3rd, but we hold a session with the students, um, and we give them a review packet, <coughs> and then that gives them information where they can find all sorts of sample questions. Yep. Oh, okay. There's a lot so. of online tools, too. Kids mm -hmm. have just gotten really used yeah. to those resources where practice quizzes and things like that. If, and you're nodding your head because you guys know mm -hmm. you have... And ACT, has a, ACT yeah. has a... They have some really great online things. Too, so. Okay. Is the SAT kind of going to the wayside then? Because I know you know we have we have a handful of kids every year who take the SAT. So I'd say it's probably less than ten. Okay. Um, but the kids who are taking SATs are looking at schools. Are probably least. yeah, you know, really they highly competitive yeah. um, post secondary institutions. So and a lot of them are if they want to go east. If a student wants to take the test again as a senior, mm -hmm. do they take the higher of the two? Uh, yeah, they, mm -hmm. they take the higher of, of whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's not on here. That, right. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's not the story. No, they can take it twice as a junior as well. They can take it up to three times. So uh, it's just the time that we give it in April that's up here. You can take it as many times. You can yeah, take it as many times. Okay, many times. Right, okay, and then they super score that. So we're just going to take it. fifty bucks. <laughs> We're just going to take the one time that we give it. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? You bet this can be said pretty quick. I'm, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Believe it or not, I know I <laughs> well, you're going to get these presentations and only have like five slides. I know. I, well, it's because I put all those graphs on that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to read. Slides. Make it small. That's good. I can send it to you. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Did you want this left up? Uh, no, I'll sneak in here. I'll hop on. It should switch out, I think. There okay, next under old business, field house hours. And they're yeah, posted somewhere. In here. No real discussion. I'll put them up on the board up on top here, too. Um, I believe, Kurt, you were the one that asked if we could just bring it uh, so that we know um, what the actual things were. There was some question on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we end up having it open the day after Thanksgiving. Um, on the, the minutes it says day after is not. So here is the final, this is what you agreed to at the last board meeting, so, or that time before. So. so it'll be closed for two days, Thanksgiving and two days of Christmas. Which two days, the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Oh, I thought Thanksgiving we just we did about but one day. Because someone was here, and it's just how it worked out the day after Thanksgiving.
itself. So it was not officially open. Correct. But these are the days you'll have it closed. Okay, so... <laughs> Rob teased me last time about Thanksgiving and I wanted it open, but now you're saying we won't be open in the future the next day. That is correct. And that's based on the decision that we made previously. That is correct. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that either. Yeah, we, um, Would you say it was February we did this? I can't say remember the two days. Lori, I, I didn't agree with it either. Lori brought up the actual YouTube video uh, sure. that was there and it was what was decided. So. Was it a unanimous vote? I bet it was it, Rob. I bet it was well, it. Yeah. Five, one. You voted against I will say there were people here the day after Thanksgiving. It was quite busy, actually. So, yeah, uh, it was very busy. I think you're thinking how you've been in there. Yeah, so Christmas Eve and Christmas Day were going to be closed? That's I was correct. working, so they could have been. I don't know. <laughs> so. Okay. I do kind of resist that Friday. I don't know. I don't know why it keeps coming back up. I thought it was just that Thursday, huh? I don't want a chaperone, <laughs> <laughs> but I want someone else. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it's, it's not worth getting into a, a big thing about it, but I'm sure I'll want to visit it next November. If it was busy this year. Well, you asked to have it on there, so that's what it's here. There's not really a discussion right now on it, unless you want to make it an agenda item. Um, right now, this is just for you to kind of see. I know, I know. You make it a pity. Anything work here. Okay, moving on. New business consideration to approve the 1718 staff development plan. Um, this is required for you to approve this tonight for the world's best workforce. Uh, we added to our, um, you have it in your packets as well. Not a lot has changed. Uh, the leadership of the teams have changed. Uh, some of the goals, if you look down at the bottom, have changed. Um, but other than that, this is a really standard. Um, Staff development plan that meets all the requirements of the state of Minnesota. So my recommendation to you would be to approve it. Um, if you do approve it, it will be on our webpage tomorrow, and then we'll move forward with the world's best workforce as well. And they do a really, really nice job. Katie is on that committee. If she has anything additional she'd like to add, but I think they do a really nice job. Yeah, they do. They think of everything. Everything. <laughs> right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that staff development liaison you're supporting this? Our approval, right? Yes. Okay. Good Looking for a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion okay. by Katie, seconded by Brenda. Other discussion? All in favor of the approval say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Consideration to approve the 1718 best workforce plan for the Cannon Falls School. I am not going to hand out the 142-page back-to-back document. I have it here if you'd like to see it. I did make all of you a summary page um, with our goals uh, that relate back to your strategic planning that you have approved last time. Um, so there isn't a whole lot of change or anything to look in here. Um, I've highlighted if the goal is met, goal is not met. Um, if the goal hasn't been met, that's just something we continue to work on. Um, and, and it's a goal that we've set for ourselves. We're not trying to impress anyone. We're not trying to do anything. It truly is a document to guide us um, in where we want to go um, in the future. So you won't see a ton of changes in here other than the updating of the goals. Um, you know, some of the, um, I know when Jennifer got over, she did some changing with the third grade goal, which I think is really, really a good thing, um, especially related to the literacy plan um, as well. So. If you have any specific questions, I can answer them, but this is a, a document that every district is approving either tonight or in December, and I would recommend um, approving it. And I've worked really hard on it. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the world's best workforce for 2017-18. Motion by Kurt. Seconded by... I'll second. Katie. Other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Consideration to approve the resolution establishing combined polling place as required by statute. Yeah, not much choice on this one. Um, Lori can answer any specific questions you have. I've got it up on the board as well. But the main thing here is to combine a polling place, um, place must be a polling place that has been designated by the county or municipality, which um, is obviously our city hall. Um, so 
uh, Lori, am I wrong in saying that this is just protocol that we have to approve? No, oh, that's correct. We did it in August and yep. listed the CCC because that's where we've been for right. hundred years, mm -hmm. and we can't be there. We have to be at a designated location. Right. Or Which is unfortunate because people are going to go to the CCC. Mm -hmm. spot mm -hmm. that we hold in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need a motion and a second and then a resolution. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jerry. Seconded? No second. By Kurt. Brenda. Okay, it's a vote for the resolution establishing combined polling place for multiple precincts and designating hours during which the polling places will remain open for voting for school district elections not held on the day of a statewide election. Kurt? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Bob? Yes. Brenda? Yes. Katie? Yes. Rob? Yes. Okay, that passes by 6 0 vote. Okay, consideration to approve a family medical leave. Yeah, we've, we've got a couple of them. Uh, the first one will be for Elaine Nelson. Uh, she is um, one of our teachers down at the elementary, and she will be going on maternity leave around January 15th, we think. Mm -hmm. Okay, January 15th. Motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Motion by Katie. I second. Seconded by Jerry. Other discussion? In all cases on family medical, we just follow the tenants, mm -hmm. policy, statutes, whatever the requirement is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other things? All in favor of the approval of this request, say aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Opposed? Carry. Request for the family medical once more. Yes, this one's for Deb Carlick. She'll be having surgery on December 5th. I'll make a motion. Motion by Kurt. Second. I'll second. Seconded by Brenda. Any other discussion? All in favor of approval, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Resolution to resolve, dissolve the co op participation for girls alpine skiing. We're going to turn this one over to Jake. Yeah, so he's got the details. Good one. So, yeah, this is a request from actually Northfield. Red Wing has asked to join our co op. So, in order to do that, we have to dissolve the current co op. And then the next motion that you approve this with to add Red Wing to it. So, currently, we haven't had a girls alpine skiing in a handful of years. So Northfield wants to add Red Wing to the co-op, so I think it's probably a good idea to go along with it. So the first one would be to dissolve, and the second one is to reapply, adding one school district. To That's this. correct, yep. Okay. Look for a motion to approve a resolution. Oh. Okay. Look for a motion. I'll make a motion. To dissolve. A dissolution. Motion by Jerry. Did I hear a second? Oh, second. Second by Katie. I don't, I don't see a resolution. Yeah, I asked Tom, Tom Northfield's athletic director if there is a resolution. He said all we need to do is approve it. That's what he told me. So oh, even though it says resolution, he says all we need to do. There is no resolution. Okay. There's a boys alpine as well? Yeah, yeah. we have boys, and we've had a boys here in the last few years, actually, the state championship yeah. uh, a couple of years ago. I don't think we'll have anyone this year. Okay. So we but also talk with them um, okay. in gymnastics as well. So the boys alpine, that's a different co-op? Yep. Okay. Just like uh, like our soccer co-op and yeah. girls co-op and boys co-op. Okay. Okay. We have a motion and a second to dissolve the co-op participation. Any other discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Consideration to approve the resolution to apply for a new co-op. So, just an extension of what he just talked about. We're adding a school to the co-op. And we'll need an approval. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jerry. I'll second. Second by Kurt. Other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. So you see the informational items. We're a little behind on the Abdo Ike. They've had some internals, I guess. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're kind of waiting as mm -hmm. patiently as we can. Um, truth and taxation presentation, approval of the levy certification, 
uh, dishwasher quotes, and you see the rest. Anything that else? It was a very busy read? board meeting. We mm -hmm. tried to move as much up as we could, but <coughs> unfortunately, we'll get a lot in on that December one. Okay. Remember, and please note that the date is a little bit different because of the holidays. Remember, we only have one meeting, uh, so mark your calendars accordingly. Well, what day is it? December, December 18th. 18th. And a bit, what? It's a Monday. It's third. a Monday? Yeah. It's just it's the third Monday. We always do second oh. and fourth. Yeah, it's the Monday. That's the thing you see, right? Just third method. Um, I just, in looking at the information item that's coming down the line, we're looking at resolution of directing the administration to make recommendations. With that, I've been, this is just some of the things that I was looking at, sort of reductions, cost savings. And this is a challenge to put out towards administration as to where we are with the one-on-one -on -one initiatives. Um, you know, we're riding this wave, and this, everybody's on this wave and riding this wave with, with technology. And... I'm wondering at what point do we look back and say, look, are we doing what, what we need to do for the classes that we have? Are we doing too much for some? Are we not doing enough for others with the technology? Um, and the reason I ask that is because you hear some research out there saying, okay, you know, kindergarten through third grade, do you, do you use one-on-one -one initiative or do you not? Jury's still out on that from what you read. But there's, there's things out there that you read about, and it, it, for me, looking at it, it's like, okay, are we doing what's what we need to do. And I'm not saying we do or don't, but that's a challenge I put out there. Are we looking back and are we saying, hey, this is where we can save some costs because do we, re do we need this? Do we need um, uh, iPad sets of iPads in a class versus everybody having them? I guess if you look at it that way, they're all going to have so, one you know, we, we are already on that track and we do sure. see... That's the question I'm imposing. Yeah. I'm just saying, are we looking back and are we, or are we just still riding this wave like everybody else is and... Are we doing? We can't start having those conversations until you guys make this motion. Yes. Uh, so once you do that, then we will, you know, we'll be yep. having lots and lots of those meetings. Right, and that's I'm just putting it out there. That's sure. just a question I have. So, so you're asked, you're basically asking, are we going back and reevaluating? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are, are we are we just pushing forward because everybody out there is on the same? Yep. You know, we're we're pushing, we're pushing. Everybody's pushing technology. But at the same time, are we looking back and seeing where we've been, and is it working? Is is there things we can change and possibly save money in the process? Well, even this year, you um, you reduced your technology budget by forty thousand dollars. Yes, you you yeah. made that. You know, our goal this year would be to double that. You yeah. know, because once you've got the tools in place and you've got the infrastructure up, yeah. um, if you've done all of that hard wiring or you know the yeah. the major kind of skeleton of things, obviously you should see those costs coming down. Sure. So and there will probably be, be some laws of diminishing return mm -hmm. eventually. Um, my question is, um, are we applying it to the right classes and do certain classes need it? Or are there other classes that say, you know what, based on studies, we may not need to do it for these classes. And as we move forward, we start to integrate them at a later stage. Yep. Just a thought. But since you're on the technology committee, you get to make that recommendation. Right. Well, that's, and those are some of <laughs> the questions as to why I'm asking. Because sure. that won't, we, the What's admin that? team will be taking the recommendation from the technology committee on what you want, how you want to move forward. So remember, mm -hmm. you are a really big part of that, that we take the recommendations from that, those committees. Yeah. So what do we need again? For what? Tech. Not on the agenda Next tech meeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think we got it yet. I think Lori has sent out a uh, a reminder about the uh, state convention, and I'm sure she's cranking up to uh, give commitments. I'm one who hasn't yet. So, just as a reminder, I'm sure she'd appreciate any input that you give her so she can prepare. Are you guys mostly ready or able to go this year, or is it maybe? Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Well, something unforeseeable happens. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're we're finished. Um, on a side note, uh, our camera man had a birthday, and he probably oh, doesn't want to. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> <laughs> his, uh, his picture was in the paper. He's uh, <laughs> he's gonna probably get even with his daughter, who's uh, <laughs> put that in there. <laughs> and, and, and so, congratulations, Dick. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Quite all right, to do. <laughs> <Yeah, thank you. laughs> the motion mm -hmm. by Brenda to adjourn. The second by whom? I'll make the second. <laughs> You've been busy tonight, Katie. I know. <laughs> Any other discussions? All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs>